Hello, this is NUFC Adam presenting you a gameplay of Domination on Showdown. And I was like to say thank you to your game so much for making me a premium director and your editor, which I'm really pleased about. I've made most intros for your game of cinema and I'm just uploading this video to show show you how I play and hopefully be able to upload more videos and promote the channel. So straight off I try to rush the B flag, spell in from capturing it and our team being in a spawn trap straight away, which isn't ideal, but I didn't see it doesn't work as I get grenaded and double teamed. Okay. So I work my way around the back here, and instead of capturing the flag, I just run across so the other team gets a verbal a verbal notice that someone's capturing the flag and hopefully pull them away from the B flag. Which it does because two there two there team comes and kills us, unfortunately, but it's not a very strong start of the game, but I do work my way up, get a, get, a, get a helicopter in the end, so not a bad game if I'm honest. Not the best, but it'll do, do for the minute. I didn't say the quality's not good on the video, but it doesn't really matter, because a, a lot of the good players here have capture cards, so. I won't be uploading videos regularly, it'll just be once, once every couple of weeks. Oh, and my favourite perk, Marty Dom, don't you just love it. And I killed this Mori, Morit guy quite a few times, he's using last stand which is incredibly annoying, as I'll demonstrate in a minute, but trying to lay down some cover for my team as I try to capture the big flag which they do later in the game I help them capture it. But I'm one of the more objective players. I'll try and capture a flag at every opportunity. Unless it's under suppressing fire where I'll try and go around, take out their team and tear away from my team to capture the flag. As you can see, I'm using AK-47 with no attachments as I feel it's the best gun on the game and without the attachments it's even better. Because if you add a red dot or a silencer, it weakens the damage at range. Whereas having it naked doesn't, or with the ACOG, that doesn't affect the damage at range or anything. So, yeah, as I said, this is I say one of the best guns in the game, so that's why I'm using it. And I've also just recently prestige, so it's a good gun to start out with. I don't particularly like the burst fire weapon, but it is quite good, but I prefer the AK a lot more. My perks today were I had special grenades times three, stomp power of course, so you just have to have it if you want to survive. It's either stomp power or juggernaut which are the main main perks in team deathmatch or domination or well regular game modes. And this as you can see I've just recently prestige so and my final pick was steady aim so I can go for them headshots already. And look at this spawn system here. Kill the a breeze there and pop, there he is, and Fabrice, boom, new tube, which, are, which is great fun. Of course, I love getting new tube, the new tube and Sonic Boom combo, what more do you want? This guy, he gets, gets put on last stand, so I go to reload, think I killed him and have to finish him off with his pistol, which isn't ideal. As soon as I kill someone and I'm in cover, I like to reload, just in case someone else comes. I do it naturally now without even thinking, kill someone, reload, and it captures it out there because it gives me eyes that bloke was on last stand. I try to get in double nade here just as they've captured the flag but it doesn't work out. And I've got an airstrike one kill away from a helicopter so I'm trying to call that in where I'm anticipating their team to go but unfortunately I don't get it this time. I'm gonna run for cover as I'm getting taken. Taking hits from the right there. And I don't know what I was doing here, chucking a, a stun grenade in case that bloke was following us, but proves he wasn't. And try and capture this flag again. When I'm capturing a flag, I do like to um, move around, make it harder for snipers to get us or generally people to shoot us, which is also a good idea because you don't want to be. Don't want to be getting shot at when you're capturing a flag, especially when it's a 
three quarters, four fifths of the wheel, and you just about capture it, and then you get taken in by someone using an M40 or something like that. It does annoy us a lot, and also if you two or three your teammates are capturing the flag and you get noob tubed, that is also very annoying. But it's one of the things in the game, they're not going to change it. All you can do is complain, but I hope not do too much of this. So, anticipate they're going to try and capture A because it's the only flag they haven't got. And most of the players I'm playing with now don't know the spawn trap and try to capture every flag in the game, which is going to backfire on you because once you control three flags, they're going to spawn on any flag that you control. Whereas if they only have the one flag, then they're going to spawn on the flag they control. And which is good if you want to win the game because it means you're, you've got two flags and you're getting two points every five seconds and they've got one flag and they're only getting one point per five seconds which means you can trap them in their spawn you can win and you can get a hell of a load of kills but my team seems incapable to do that and we end up losing three flags we get dominated and we dominate which is bad now try the drop shot on him just just for fun really, having quite a decent game so I do like to drop shot sometimes like if there's a group of them coming I'll jump about and drop shot and make myself hard at the hit and dodge some bullet with bullets which is ideal in this game and boom grenade and I spawn right next to the flag where the where that um, person just killed us which is rather lucky I got that's player unawares she wouldn't have expected he or she wouldn't have expected me to spawn there. So yeah, the spawn is quite random in this game, especially in domination where the spawns are constantly changing. So I get a hit marker on that guy with a um, stun grenade. So I'm going to try and go around the back and take them out. Just check my corners here. Yeah. Don't want to get killed. And I do get a chopper, but it's right at the end of the game, so I don't have time to call it in, which is rather unfortunate. Cause could have got a few kills but you don't really get that many kills on domination especially on showdown with a helicopter because it's mainly indoors but especially on team deathmatch team deathmatch people just like to hide indoors I always like to go along the top here and I've just killed someone called Optic Explicit I want you guys to uh, answer my question does Optic Gaming have a special division for the Wii? I've played a couple of guys called Optic, but on the Activision forums, you see Optic haven't got a special division. So I don't know if it's people just interpreting, interpreting, um, in, what, well, trying to copy them. Should I say impersonation? That's the one. Trying to impersonate Optic Gaming. I don't particularly think they have a um a Wii division but if they do that's pretty awesome so stretch over the Wii Xbox and the PlayStation 3 and I think I'm only a couple of kills away from my helicopter here I think it's one more and I do get it pretty soon but yes so later on on your game of cinema I've got Murder Talks which is where people send in their gameplays to BMF Mirror, who's going to commentate on them and do some awesomeness with them videos. BMF Mirror is a good commentator and also a very good player, so you want to check out his videos. Also got Gun of the Week with Ace Fisher for Life, who's good at Modern Warfare uh, Reflex. He's a member of the AI clan, Ashes of the Innocent. And I've also got the top five players of the week coming out soon, so watch out for that comment, rate and subscribe and follow the channel. Thank you, greatly appreciate it.